Okay. Alright, um, let's get this party started. Okay. Just to cover my bases, first and last name and spell it, please. Okay. Sarah Harris, S A R A H H A R R I S. Cool, cool. And your classification at OU? I'm a senior. Alrighty, so, um, I'm super curious just how you juggle everything in life, because obviously <laughs> you're <laughs> the twirler, the future yeah. twirler, Miss OU, a senior mm -hmm. who is also trying to figure out life as well as preparing to compete for a supplement. So, what in the world do you do? Um, everything is, my life is busy, but I always say busy with the good things. Um, I spend a lot of my time organizing, planning. I have a, I live out of an Erin Condren planner. <laughs> my days are scheduled from 8 a.m. or usually about 5 a.m. to about 9, 9 p.m. So um, with being the feature twirler, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. I'm also a baton coach and I have right now currently 13 students that I teach. And then with that, I have to maintain a practice schedule, so I practice two hours a day. And then I work out in the mornings at 5, from 5 to 7 every morning with my own workout plan. And I've been doing that since the um, beginning of last summer. So it's just kind of a routine. I've gotten used to it. But um, And then with Miss OU, it's any kind of appearances that I or my pageant director, Tessa, is trying to schedule. Um, and trying to get ready for Miss Oklahoma, you've got to eat right, you've got to prep your meals, you've got to be on top of your schoolwork to make sure that you're doing everything that's going to better prepare you for Miss Oklahoma or me getting ready to graduate, putting together a resume to go try to get a job. Um, so every day I kind of get up, go to the gym, come home, eat my breakfast, pack my lunch, Make sure I get everything for class, go to class, work out, twirl, go to dinner, try to have a social life. I do have a boyfriend and I do have friends, I promise. Um, and I have a family that I try to talk with every day and then go to bed and repeat it every, all over the next day. Um, so it's, it is pretty, it was really tiring when I first got into it, but now after three or four years of doing that, it's just kind of life. Mm -hmm. It's busy, but busy, but all good things that I enjoy. Okay. So tell me your twirling history. How did you get into that? Was it a family thing? What what happened? So my mom twirled a little bit when she was younger, but her parents didn't have the money to keep her in lessons. They She grew up on a farm, so they were very poor. But um, I was actually going to um, a private middle school. Um, I was in seventh grade. Very good at basketball and softball and swimming, so I was involved in all of those. Um, but I had a best friend who invited me to a twirling practice after school because we were going to go spend the night, have a slumber party, it was her birthday. So I thought, okay, I'll just hang out, you know, go watch her twirl, and then we'll go home. I got there, picked up the baton, and was playing around with it, and instantly, like, fell in love. Was like, I love this. But I went home, told my mom I wanted to twirl, and she said, absolutely not, you're not doing that. You were in basketball, you are in this, you are not, you are too busy to do this. And of course, I was heartbroken, you know. So I went to my dad, of course, because I thought I was going to get a different answer, and I did. He said, you know, if this is something you really want to do, go for it, you know. And so I started really practicing and started taking lessons and got really good because I had just a natural knack for, for it for my mom. And it's funny, she didn't want me to twirl, but uh, she just didn't think I had time. But I just had a natural knack for it and actually won my first national competition in two years. So um, my first, after twirling for three months, I won my state competition and then I won my regionals and then the following year, um, I placed first at nationals and won a won three gold medals at the AAU Junior Olympic Nationals. And then after that, I was in high school, started taking from my now coach Billy Bruce, who lives in Canton, Ohio. 
and who is the mastermind behind all of my routines and crazy tricks and uh, Billy isms. But um, he has been coaching me, and I went um, on with him to win seven national titles and then my highest honor I considered Miss Major of America when I was a senior in high school. And then the following April, I went to Belgium and won a gold medal in baton twirling at the World Championships. And then I retired from competitive twirling and went to Alabama and um, took a year of leave from trying, trying out at Oklahoma because there was a girl previously here who stayed an extra year. And then I sent in my tape the following year and I was flown out with two other girls and we had three finalists and um, I was selected as the next feature twirler. So um, I've been here ever since. But it has been a very, very crazy ride from start to finish um, of just how I got into it and how fast it's all gone. So when you began twirling, did you stop soccer, swim, and I did ball? it, which is which I think that kind of helped me because it kind of got me ready for what I'm in now, like how busy my schedule is. Um, I was really good at time management in high school, and I actually have more time than I, now in college than I did in high school. When I got to college, I was like, oh, I have 45 minutes to sit down and watch TV. This is great, you know, and because in high school, you know, you go to class from 8 to 3, and then after that, you've got to fit in everything else, which you've got homework, and you don't have a car, you know, most of the time. I didn't drive to all the senior, so I was, you know, my mom was carpooling me, um, but you have from about 3, 3 to 9 to fit in everything, and so I always felt just crammed for time, and I practiced outside, so I tried to get all that in before the sun went down, and, but yeah, when I got to college, I had way more free time I felt like and I still feel that way today you know I've got time to sit down pay my nails or talk to call somebody on the phone or something like that so yeah okay um now um moving on to Miss Oklahoma mm -hmm. what inspired you to do your first pageant I understand your first pageant was Miss OU right yes a few years ago mm -hmm. what inspired you to compete you know, and why, why Miss OU? Well, I did Miss OU because it was right here, you know, at the university, and I knew there was a scholarship a couple years ago to do it, and I thought, well, that'd be pretty cool, you know. And my mentor is Kelly Masters, who is a former OU twirler and also Miss Oklahoma. And she actually took me three years ago to Miss Oklahoma, and she took me as her guest, and we sat on the second row, and that was your Kelsey Griswold won. And I just remember sitting there thinking, I want to do this. This is awesome, you know? Wow, these girls are so talented. They're not what you think they are. They've got talent. They're in shape. They're funny. They're smart. And they want to serve other people. What more could you ask for? And I thought, I, I want to be in this class of elite girls. This, this is the next, this is my next venture in life. Because I would want to be, if I were a mother, and my daughter and my daughter was wanting to do something, I would want my daughter to be in pageants because I thought this is this is molding a girl into her best self. I thought this is awesome. So I was really busy with being the feature twirler my first year and then my second year I entered Miss OU. Didn't know what I was doing. Kelly kind of talked me into it and she didn't really have time to help me because she's a sports agent, but she also is a lawyer for nonprofits, so you can imagine. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos, thought I had a walk down, resume, interview, went in there casual patty, didn't know anything. And they, uh, <laughs> it was embarrassing. So after that, I thought, okay, I, I've got to figure out what I'm doing. So, um, and most of the pageants I couldn't do because they fall in the fall and on weekends. And I have games, so I can't do them. But this year, it just happened to be Miss OU was on a Sunday. And I thought, perfect. So I um, actually didn't know what I was going to do as a platform. I thought, I don't really, I don't really know what I want to advocate for. I don't know what my charity, I don't, what would that be? And so I sat down with Kelly and I said, I, I feel like I'm a mentor to so many girls and I feel like that's really helped me in life. And she said, well, why don't you advocate for like a women's mentorship, mentor program? And I thought, yeah, I said it really empowers other women. 
and I named it Be Empowered, and it's talking about women and empowerment, and women empowering other women, and um, I really feel like that's vital to our generation because I feel like that a lot of a lot of the social media that you see now, it's easy.